Today's video follows a very simple mission. I'm here in this abandoned military base to crash test the Source 1. You may remember the, the build and, and uh, review video we did a couple of weeks ago. So now I really want to see what the Source 1 can take. And I do know this place very well. I crashed my alien here a thousand times. And now it's, it's time to crash the Source 1 a little bit. So just for the sake of completeness, here is the probably last shot of the fully working TBS Source 1 frame. In case you did not remember uh, how it was built and how it looks like, this is it. And I propped it a little bit down. So these are DA DAL props, T5040s. So a little bit of lighter props, as I mentioned last time. When I flew it here, it came down uh, with a really hot battery and didn't had great flight times. So um, I hope this improves with the more lighter prop. Um, I will take it for a spin and see how it flies now that it has some lighter props and then it's, it's rampage time. <laughs> Um, beginning from from now on the footage could look a little bit jittery because I don't have that many props with me so I don't I can't replace them as, as much as I would usually <laughs> Okay, so let's let's do some aftermath. Um, I I had some really harsh crashes with this one, as you can see. Um, the the HD cam mount was torn off the quad. HD cam is actually fine. Um, yeah, I think having the HD cam screwed on is probably a little bit structural, not so ideal. But uh, so f unfortunately, crash testing is over because of my not very intelligent mounting 
of the VTX, the antenna ripped off, including the SMA connector and some pieces of the PCB of the um, video transmitter. So no further testing, unfortunately. But as you can see, the source one itself doesn't have ev even some little delaminations or something like this. You can see here the motor took a very hard hit, but the frame itself, oh, here, here is a little bit of delamination, slightly. I expected much worse. Actually, I, I, I was sure I've broken an arm in one of the crashes. So I expected much, much worse. So I guess this concludes the crash testing of the, the TBS Source 1. It did much better than I expected for a $30 carbon frame. Honestly, I thought it would break very easily, but it, it absolutely didn't. I, you, you saw me crashing into walls. You saw me crashing multiple times in, in this um, stone power there, over there, I, I tried to take it down. I think I actually managed to um, take off one of the stones from the top. And yeah, it, it, it has some scratches. The only thing it has are some scratches and some scratches on the motors and basically broken props. And um, yeah, the VTX is, it's the, mount, the way I mounted the VTX, not very smart. Um, so this could happen, um, but but for the source one frame, highly recommended. Um, what I see people in our local group breaking Martians and other cheap clone frames, right here in the spot from small, very small crashes, I can highly recommend getting a source one. It, it can really withstand some abuse. Yeah, so thanks for watching and see you in the next one. <laughs>